Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Favalix walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at the second part of WSUS installation because in last video we did the installation of WSUS. Now what we are going to do is we are going to look at how does it look like when we install WSUS and what is the next step inside. So if we go down over here we have Windows Server Update Services. We are going to click on that and server manager of course so if you look over here now WSUS role as we installed in the last tutorial video we have the WSUS uh, configuration wizard um, what it says before you begin you need to take these things in consideration now we are going to click on next over here Yes, I would like to join the Microsoft Improvement Program or not. I would not like to join it, so I'm going to ignore this. Next, uh, I would like to synchronize it from uh, Microsoft Updates or synchronize it, synchronize it from another WSUS server. But in my case, of course, I'm going to synchronize it from Microsoft Update Server. I'm going to click Next. Um, now over here if there is any proxy settings requires for this WSUS server to go to the internet I would need to provide them over here else I would just ignore it and click on next and then I would say start connecting so what this would do it would check my connection if I can reach to Microsoft update servers to check for catalogs and details so for the timing what is going to happen is information to be downloaded which would include types of updates available product that can be updated available languages so we just need to click on start um, to save and download upstream server and proxy server information of course this would take time depending on your internet speed depending on the connection how it is going on and then once this is done we'll move forward so see now uh, this is completed now we'll click on next of course uh, we are going to select the languages download updates only in these languages it depends what languages you would like to support in for me I'm going to click on English and then next um, whether I would like to go for all products or only for specific products so uh, what I'm going to do over here for now is for example I would like to go for um, let's say let's say let's say let's say office are already selected SQL servers are selected no, unselected of course uh, depends on what kind of lots of lots of things you have over here is yours Windows embedded Windows live Windows uh, or BD all the Windows types etc etc whatever I'm not going to change these for now and I'm going to just click on next over here because um, I'm not going to tweak these things but you can select what products you can do it right over here or maybe later on when you move uh, to the configuration section uh, or console of the WSUS I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to choose classification of the products what I would like to download I would like to download for example service packs updates etc etc and I'm going to click on next synchronize manually or I would like to schedule it for example every um, 12 a.m. in the morning because I know at that point of time nobody's in my office nobody's there and 
my server would remain on and it should synchronize every day or whatever synchronization time period you would like to keep it over here and then you can click on begin installation initial synchronization if you want or you can do it later on as per schedule i can click on next and say um, sorry i can click on begin initialization initial synchronization synchronization and click next now what's next i can go for wsus integrated into your environment use ssl with wsus create computer groups etc etc which we are not going to do right away i'm going to finish it and then this synchronization would happen in the background and this is my wsus console for you now so if i want i can just simply come over here and update and see whatever updates are there um, definitely it would synchronize and then it would see what updates are there what updates are not there it would show me over here but it would take time then these are the computers groups where i can create simple groups to categorize my computer some other options are there this probably we can talk about them later on if you would like to see specific things over here of course you can talk about it in another tutorial but for that you would need to comment what you need and then we can talk about them um, i would like to thank you once again for watching this walkthrough thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products i am talking about